Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I'm going to tell you about yet another Chinese motherboard, but this time it is a modern platform motherboard. So the motherboard is Maxun B660M Challenger and it comes in such box. If you're interested to see unboxing of this motherboard, then I will add a link to the video description and somewhere here or there. Now let's take a look at the motherboard itself. So, the motherboard looks like this, and what's important about it is that even though it is LJ1700 platform, Chinese still added extra holes, so you can install standard LJ1151 or LJ1200 CPU coolers. For example, I can install such simple Intel box cooler from the previous generation, and it just works. In this case, I have bought cheap i3 CPU without box cooler, that's why it was very valuable for me. Also, if you're hunting for cheap i3 or i5 CPUs from AliExpress, in most of the cases they are coming without a box cooler, while at the local market you can find these old uh, Intel box coolers for almost nothing. As always, you will be able to find all technical details and all my test results in my slides by the end of the video, but I will mention a few important things about the motherboard. First, it has some limitations and some issues that I have found. So let's start with the fact that the motherboard has only two memory slots and only three SATA ports. Some might believe that it is too little, too few, but I think it is just enough for a standard gaming computer. Right now we have 32 GB memory modules, so you can have 2x32 64 gigs. The motherboard also has two M.2 slots for SSD drives, both of them are PCI Express 4.0 x4, so you have plenty of expansion options, yet some of you might think that three SATA ports are simply not enough. Another flaw that I was able to find is the XMP issue. For some reason, testing with my G-Skill DDR4 3200CL14 memory, when I enable XMP profile, the memory timings are set incorrect. Instead of using CL141414 values, the motherboard is applying CL171414. It's important to mention that if I manually adjust the timings to CL141414, it works just as expected, but just enabling XMP profile is not enough on this motherboard. Of course, I have installed the latest available BIOS from the official Maxun website, so in this regard Maxun, which is a Chinese brand that is not very well known, acting just like any other popular brands. There is an official website, there is support, you can download drivers and you can download BIOS. The BIOS update procedure is not as straightforward as with the known brands, but it is still pretty simple and you will find detailed instructions in my slides. All in all, even though Maxun B660M Challenger is a Chinese motherboard from a Chinese brand, everything works and it works well. Especially I was happy to figure out that Maxun B660M Challenger comes with a good enough VRM. Previously I have tested Maxun B560M Challenger motherboard and that one was throttling with i5-11400. Maxun B660M doesn't throttle with i7-12700K. This is a very good improvement and I have compared performance between Maxun motherboard and my MSI Z690A Pro. In both of the cases, my i7-12700K performed identical. Of course, with the Z690 motherboard you can overclock your i7, but with the B660 you do not have such options. Even though Maxun B660M Challenger has overclocking options in the BIOS, these options are completely ignored. i7-12700K works at its default or stock configuration. Nevertheless, my score for the motherboard will be 7 out of 10 and it is a rather nice score. If you are limited to AliExpress and not able to buy a good LJ1700 motherboard from your local stores with a good price, then Maxun B660M Challenger might be a good option for you, especially if you can find a combo with a cheap i3-12100 or i5-12400 CPU. This combination will be miles better than any other Xeon E5 CPU for gaming and office productivity. Of course, if you need tons of memory and if you need tons of PCI Express lanes, then Xeon is the option. With this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and educational. Bye for now!